Hey, this is Daniel Norton. I'm here in my studio in New York City with McKinsey. And one question I get all the time is, what's the difference between a softbox and an umbrella? I mean, besides the fact that a softbox is a softbox. You know, like in use. So while you can do a lot of things with the various modifiers, kind of the main reason why you'd use a softbox over an umbrella, in my opinion, is for the control, like the edge control. Umbrellas tend to throw the light out wider. A softbox gives you a bit of a narrow throw, and while you can collapse the umbrella and do different things, it still doesn't give you the same kind of control you get with the softbox. This is a really big subject that could be covered in many, many videos, but we're just going to do it really basic just to kind of show you that. So I'm going to use this uh, Lastalite uh, collapsible umbrella here and my Profoto uh, three-foot octagon. I do have the grid on it to start with because that's, again, one of the advantages or, or uh, things you can do with a softbox. But let me just start with the umbrella. So we're here. Again, the, pro the umbrella is set up with my Profoto light. I'm here in my studio. I'm going to set my camera at f11 at 250, and I'm going to turn the flash off. Um, the reason why I'm at that setting is because that will get rid of the ambient light in the space, and I'm going to take a quick shot here. I'm in Capture One, just to make sure. And yeah, we've got a black screen. That means none of the light's affecting us, so all you're seeing is the results of the umbrella. I'm going to start in TTL, and we'll see what we get here for a shot. Cool, there we go. Right? Kind of classic umbrella shot, 45 degree angle. You know, nice, nice coverage. The, the background has light on it. It's soft because it's big. Um, and that's kind of your umbrella shot. Now, I could spin the umbrella if I wanted to try to get less light on the background, let's say. But as you can see, the light on her changed. Actually, it's a little bit nicer on her because the shadow pattern. But the background's still essentially the same. You've got white floors in here. You've got this umbrella bouncing around. The lights going everywhere. It's just filling in. It's actually really great. This is my choice when I want something where somebody's going to move around a lot or when somebody is, uh, like, you should in a group. Like, umbrella is key for that. I love umbrellas for that. Um, but when you switch to a softbox, what you're going to get is, again, the ability to control your space a little bit better. So throw this over here. Again, this is a three-foot octagon. It has a grid on it. The grid's going to narrow the throw. We'll start there. And you can't really put a grid on an umbrella, so this is one of the things you can do. And you notice, too, like we're closing this up here. That means all, light, all our light's going to be kind of pushed through the front of the softbox. So you're actually not wasting light either. Wasn't that a... Album, never an album, right? Was it right? wasting light? Is that it? Wasting light. Yeah, I think it is. We'll get, somebody look that up. All right, good. All right, so we switch there. All right, so we can already see with the with the softbox and the grid, the background. Actually, more more comparative would be this one, because the light's in the same situation, right? So we can immediately see. Also, you notice the color change a little bit. With the umbrella, the the lights bouncing around the studio, picking up some of the more cool tones in the studio. The softbox is keeping this like warm, fresh light. So that's also, I mean, you can white balance that, but that's a little bit of a difference you get. You notice the background is darker, even though the light's in the same spot. But I can now, remember when I turned the umbrella, it didn't really do that much. When I turn the softbox, we should be able to scoop a lot of the light off the background, getting it almost completely dark. You know, And if you moved it closer and did other things, you'd be able to get it even more dark. But that's with the grid, right? That's like your softbox deluxe, right? That's what they call it, like when you get fries with it or whatever. And tomato, right? You get tomato yeah. as well. You don't just get fries. Supreme, I'm yeah, about. supreme. There we go. <laughs> I go supreme. <laughs> All right. So we're going to pull the grid off. If you want to actually be a cool photographer, you're supposed to leave it hanging here. Like, don't don't put it away. You just leave it there. That's like what cool photographers do. Okay. I'll take it off because I'm not very cool. <laughs> All right, so we put that back more or less where it was. Um, again, I'm going to start with it more pointed directly at her. And there we go. So now this is with and without grid. Right, so the grid gave us a little more contrast, a little bit more uh, control. And, but we can still feather the softbox off here to get that variation. You know, again, so we can actually see that when we turn the softbox away from her, we actually kind of get almost a little bit more of even coverage on the background because now it's feathered off. When the softbox is pointing directly at her, we get like a little bit more shadowy, and that's kind of the opposite of the umbrella in a lot of ways. So 
you know, you're definitely very different tools. I mean, if you took the softbox, you could get a similar look to the umbrella, right? Here. I mean, the color is a little different, but with the umbrella, you're not gonna be able to get that. So that's basically it, right? Not without a lot of work anyways. This is basically softbox right out of the box. This is softbox out of the box. This is basically how softboxes work. So this is I move in for the closer. So, to, so in fact, my spot. So there's a lot to be said about softboxes. I could do an entire video on softboxes if you want to see more stuff that you can do with it. But in general, softbox, edge control, right? Umbrella spreads the light. So yeah, price differences, all kinds of other things. But really, that's why you're going to choose one over the other. And you can do a lot of stuff with an umbrella. You can do a lot of stuff with a softbox. But having multiple tools is going to give you a lot more kind of freedom to create what you really want to do. So I will put McKinsey's information in the description so you can follow her on social medias. <laughs> follow me, Daniel Martin Photographer. And I'll see you next time on set. <laughs>